St. Petersburg is a Russian port city on the Baltic Sea, with a lot in store such as imperial palaces, parks, and museums. A world-class city you wouldn't want to miss. Welcome to Things to Do channel. Today we're going to list 10 things to do in St. Petersburg. Stroll around Nevsky Prospect. The Nevsky Prospect is a 4.5 kilometer long Royal Avenue at the very heart of St. Petersburg. Uncounted shops, palaces, churches, and luxury hotels line the fabulous street. And there's really no way around visiting the Nevsky Prospect. Even if you don't plan to do any shopping, you really should walk along the street to breathe in the atmosphere. And truth be told, some of the most beautiful buildings in St. Petersburg can be found on the Nevsky Prospect. You don't want to miss it. Check out the Catherine Palace. Even a quick taxi ride through St. Petersburg will impress the sheer quantity of palaces in the city onto you. There are quite literally thousands. Perhaps the grandest of them all lies in Pushkin, some 25 kilometers outside. Catherine the Great built it to escape the many obligations at court. The palace and the wide gardens are more than worth a visit. The highlight, however, will be the world-famous Amber Room. The original was lost during World War II, but Russian artisans created a perfect replica. You can now see the Catherine Palace. Take the canal tour. St. Petersburg is a city of many water canals. In fact, there are over 800 bridges crossing a total length of 300 kilometers of artificial canals. They served as important transport ways and kept the city built on Marshland Drive. These days, most traffic sticks to the roads. But as a tourist, you absolutely should go on a canal tour and see St. Petersburg from a different side. Be amazed at the Faberge Museum. The Faberge Museum opened in 2013, but despite that short history, the privately owned museum is already one of the highlights. Here you will see nine of the fabled imperial Easter eggs and 4,000 other exhibits from Fabergé and the Golden Age of Jewelry. You will need to get tickets in advance. See a show at the Marinsky Theater. Russian opera and ballet production are world-renowned. And of all the grand operas in Russia, the Marinsky Theater is the finest. Absolutely make sure to book tickets for a performance during your stay. The ancient interiors are beyond marvelous, as is the incredible skill of the Russian ballet dancers. See the Peter and Paul Fortress. Peter and Paul Fortress marks the very spot St. Petersburg was founded. It was here Tsar Peter erected a small wooden hut in 1703 AD and oversaw the construction of the mighty fortress. The bell tower of the Peter and Paul Cathedral is still the highest building in St. Petersburg. Below lie the many sarcophagi of the Russian Shards. The picturesque St. Isaac's Cathedral St. Isaac's Cathedral is an architectural marvel. It is not only the largest Orthodox basilica in the world, but also the fourth largest cathedral in the world. Strictly speaking, it is not a proper church anymore either. Like the Cathedral of the Savior on Spilled Blood, it is now a museum. Only on the highest feast day services are held here. A small portion of the huge cathedral is devoted to regular worship activity these days. Peterhof Palace Peterhof Palace was built by Char Peter to outshine Versailles. He might not have managed to build a bigger palace, but the opulent water gardens his architects created beggar comprehension. The Grand Cascade draws millions of tourists to Peterhof each year. Peterhof Palace is strictly speaking not located in St. Petersburg anymore. But a couple of miles away to the west, you will have to take one of the crazy hydrofoil speedboats to get there. Discover the Hermitage Museum The Hermitage Museum in St. Petersburg is not only one of the oldest museums in the world. It is also one of the best. It is located inside the Winter Palace of Empress Catherine the Great and spans more than 1,500 rooms. Leonardo da Vinci, Monet, Van Gogh, but also ancient sites in gold and artwork from the dawn of time. This museum will quite literally take your breath away. The most iconic church of the Savior on spilled blood. 
St. Petersburg's most iconic site is probably the Church of the Savior on Spilled Blood. But looks can be deceiving. Unlike the fabled St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow, the Church of the Savior is barely 100 years old. It marks, however, the very spot where Shar Alexander II was assassinated in 1881. Like many churches in Russia, the Church of the Savior is now a museum and was never reconsecrated after the Soviet government closed it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this about your favorite cities around the world. Let us know in the comments which of the places from our list today you would like to visit the most.